Good morning, everyone. Um, this week's vlog is in regards to um, television networks uh, with Notre Dame and University of Penn. So to begin, I want to just um, talk about Notre Dame first. So first, they were the pioneers. They were the first to sell um, their rights to TV networks to uh, broadcast all of their home games, um, which comes after, you know, the the success they had with radio broadcasting. So um, they were already at the top of their game and it just kind of peaked them over. Um, from the very beginning, they were a unique brand of college football. Um, they uh, accepted and, and used broadcasting to their advantage to not only um, get attention brought to their football team, but the university in general. Um, the first contract with Dumont Television um, was for about $185,000. Um, and you know, their history, um, is, is, is great when you think about college sports. Um, when, when you think about all of the, the games that were broadcasted, Notre Dame had, had at least half of the major games that was broadcasted in, in, in history. So, um, they were number one, like I said, the, um, pioneers, they um, set the precedence of, they set the bar really high and a lot of people um, wanted to follow. Um, and then you have UPenn who in around the same time in 1950 um, that Notre Dame signed that contract with Dumont Television, um, the University of Penn sold their home game rights to ABC. Um, however, unlike Notre Dame, Penn State's football, I'm sorry, University of Penn's football faded um, in the top ranks of football. Although they began high, um, they soon faded. Um, and so amongst the two of them though, um, other schools were threatened by television. They thought that it would hurt their ticket sales. Um, and they, um, which was the main source of revenue at the time. And they wanted to restrict um, TV coverage. So out of fear, um, they began to get the NCAA involved, and so the NCAA came in and strongholded um, them by getting out of their contracts with Dumont and um, ABC um, to restrict football or television televised college sports. Um, but, however, we find that the additional coverage had a positive impact on on fans and college football because. Most teams, when they did the initial contracts with TV and radio, it was local. But Notre Dame hit the national stage. And so some of the Ivy, other Ivy League teams also hit the national stage. And that's what catapulted them into being um, a pioneer because they, they branched out from just local TV and local radio and they became nationally broadcasted. And so that brought, so fans that were, so people that were fans of college football and of Notre Dame was able to see it wherever they were nationally um, and so I think that was the biggest positive because it had a positive impact for fans. Um, television exposure um, helped them recruit even high school students so when you think about um, Notre Dame program being smaller they use that television um, to their advantage yet again because if you're a high school student coming out of high school and going to Notre Dame, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to get TV exposure, which means that I'm going to go to the pros. So more than likely, that, again, was a positive advantage for them, even though a lot of colleges in the beginning just were too afraid to join these two schools who had set the precedence, um, who raised the bar, who, who had others come to meet them um, in terms of, of adopting television um, and having their teams nationally broadcasted. Um, also, the TV exposure helped them gain a lot of financial backing um, for the university. So when Notre Dame received their money, I think they received about $38 million, um, they didn't just use it to go to football. They put it back into the budget, into the overall budget for the school. So now you're able to build up the school, um, allow for more scholarships, um, more modern facilities. Uh, amenities, um, new stadiums, just different things. So um, television, in my, in my opinion, was a great way for them to move from just being locally recognized to being nationally recognized. And I think that was the biggest thing that 
the other schools were afraid of. They were afraid that being seen on television would hinder their sales, their gate receipts, and people, instead of coming to the game, um, would actually just stay home and watch TV. But I know myself sometimes watching a game live is way better than watching it on TV.